Hey everybody, it's Brian here. Uh, today is going to be kind of a fusion of the couple different things that we've done on this channel so far. Uh, we've done a lot of top tens. Uh, there's been a couple blogs here and there. Um, this is going to be kind of uh, a little bit of a shift, but also a little bit of a combination of those two things. Uh, we're going to be doing a top ten today. Uh, but it's going to be like an advice video or a blog video, I guess you could say. Uh, it's really a top 10 uh, things to do when you're depressed. Uh, I'm not a doctor, as you could tell, obviously. Um, but uh, this is from a lifetime uh, or so of experience. Uh, all of these tips are, uh, are compiled from... Uh, you know, a lifetime of experience. Uh, <laughs> anyways, so, so yeah, you can rest assured I'm not like a, a like a, a happy, you know, happy-go-lucky person. Uh, these are all from <laughs> experience. Uh, yeah, let's get started. Um, number one on here, uh, listen to music that uh, isn't going to bring you down any more than you already are. You know, I know some people like stuff like Towns Van Zandt or stuff with low-key, uh, kind of sad lyrics that they can relate to, you know. Uh, but avoid the genres that put a pit in your stomach emotionally, you know. You want to set yourself up to succeed. That's going to be one of the consistent themes of this video. Uh, when you're depressed, set yourself up to succeed. Be your own best friend, you know. Um, don't throw rocks in your own road, you know. Start the day with a good, uh, functional, healthy, uh, foundational meal, you know? What I mean by this is don't eat something that you're going to regret throughout the day, you know, like eating like a, a microwave pasta, for example. You're going to feel like, ugh, like, like why did I eat that? Or, you know, like it, it fucked up your diet if you're on one. I mean, don't eat something you're going to regret throughout the whole day. This is... Uh, always hard for me because I hate breakfast food. I prefer uh, dinner leftovers, you know. Um, but yeah, just uh, start your day off with like a salad or uh, uh, maybe, you know, like a healthy panini or something. Anyways. Uh, yeah, also after that, plan to do something later in your day that you can look forward to. Uh, that way you don't feel like your day is going nowhere and you're kind of off the rails, you know. Uh, uh, plan something to feel good about, like a walk, for instance. And you could start your plans from there. Uh, maybe try to do other stuff when you're on the walk uh, that's productive, you know. Uh, next stuff, number four. As hard as it may be, uh, try to be proactive. Because the other pro when you have depression is procrastination. When you really need to get something done, set a time that is not distant. And this is coming from a career procrastinator who has to restring several guitars uh, that still have broken strings uh, several weeks uh, going now. Um, next up uh, is to try to find a positive mantra to repeat to yourself about yourself. Even if it's a paradigm shift from low self-esteem, you need to kind of try to focus on what it is that's great about you. Where is zooming in on the other half going to really get you? You have good qualities. It's time to remember them. You know, uh, next up at number six is going to be try not to get emotionally beat down by another person that has a different approach to life than you. Even if that person happens to be a good person or a loved one, uh, sometimes people are rude or too judgmental. And someone that doesn't uh, mirror their perspectives in life, uh, they may not empathize or understand uh, what that person is going through uh, due to a lack of life experience. You know, sometimes people are just narrow-minded. Uh, it's not always your fault when another person is intolerant, you know. Uh, for instance, if you might deal with someone's uh, racial intolerance, that's certainly not your fault. And uh, a lot of other situations uh, that are similar to that, obviously. Uh, give me one moment to scroll down here. Uh, okay. 
Um, difference is not a fault, as I was saying above. Uh, there isn't only one way to do things. Um, your, uh, your quirks are not always something that you're going to need to change. You know, Embrace yourself and look deep. What do you really want out of life? It's time to develop the part of yourself that at first seemed hard to embrace. Recall that your supposed faults are really a lot of times the things that make you unique. Weren't the people that irritated you in a variety of situations throughout life or bullied you, for example, uh, weren't they always boring jerks anyways? Think about how those people lack any variance from the norm. They're kind of like Biff Tannen from Back to the Future. And I would rather hang out with Marty or any of the other characters uh, than Biff Tannen. Uh, and I think you would all agree with me, at least I hope. <laughs> um, number eight on here is going to be think long term, especially when it comes to family. Choose your battles with ego fueled things that won't matter in the long run. And, and that's really the big point of number eight on this list to remember what will and will not be there in the long term. You know, uh, family is going to be part of your life for your whole life. So uh, try to choose your battles with family because that's always a long run thing. And, and to, you know, not fight with family over things that are in retrospect unimportant, you know? Uh, we all do it, but uh, we should all try to avoid it because it can lead to some really bad and some really sad results, you know? Um, number nine on here starts with the admittance that we all have our tempers. Set yourself up to succeed, as I said earlier. During low points emotionally, uh, one good thing to do is to avoid games that make you rage quit. And movies that are tear jerkers obviously go without saying to avoid. Uh, try to avoid Debbie Downers and maybe give yourself a give yourself a little bit of break uh, before taking on excessive homework assignments. Um, like I said, uh, set yourself up to succeed. Be your own best friend and not your own constant enemy by having a loving attitude. Uh, number 10 on here is going to be open-mindedness. Now that might sound cliche, but sometimes the most repetitive and boring cycles and phases of our lives are the product of simply doing one thing for far too long. Break the stagnation. If and when you can, try something new. I'm not saying uh, anyone should break their own existing beliefs or ethics system. But try on a new hat. It might refresh your old outfit, you know? Uh, so those are my top 10 things to do when you're depressed. As you may have guessed, like I said, I'm not a doctor. However, these are just tips I've compiled from experience. Anyways, I love you guys. I'm out. Uh, and good luck along the journey, obviously. <laughs>